what's going on youtube come back at you with another video so this is kind of crazy kodak black's mother reportedly said that she would kill herself if something happened to kodak while in prison as far as him being killed um i'm gonna show you what kodak had put up in case you missed it on his instagram recently about the treatment that he is alleging he's receiving it says lieutenant f arroyo has been very vindictive towards me and i have a strong feeling it has something to do with me being set up laced bruised and brutally beaten two weeks before my court date there is a big conspiracy going on in this building on me santiago torres is using her position wrongfully in miami fdc and is abusing her authority she has been writing falsified incident reports on me to take phone privileges that I get once a week while in solitary. Also doing anything to take my gain time so that I come home literally when I'm supposed to. One morning, she pulled me out of my cell to tell me she is going to take my pretty little girlfriend off my visitation list for no other reason but to add insult to my distress. Not being able to see my significant other while being while locked away in this hellhole. Also, I was denied visit with my mother on December 23rd, two days before Christmas. Not only does my incoming mail take an average of a month to get to me, but they are messing with my outgoing mail as well. My family hasn't received none of the letters for the holidays, which is borderline cruel and unethical. But as if all of this is not enough, on December 31st, New Year's Eve to be exact, I was handed an empty tray for breakfast. I brought it to their intention, but nothing was done for me. Since the camera shows them entering a tray through my flap, but meanwhile, there is nothing in my tray when I opened it. They are strategically killing me slowly in here. I have been humiliated over and over again. I am highly disappointed in the way they have treated not only me, but all the other inmates in this facility. With their self-serving agenda, they will always side with their fellow officers, whether right or wrong. So that's what Kodak had put up recently. This is what his mom is saying. She said, I want to make sure my son is okay. I want to make sure they don't kill my son. If they kill my son, if my son dies, I'm going to kill myself too. My son, after God, my son is life to me. My son is everything to me. Kodak Black's mother clearly concerned about his safety and well-being. She clearly has a lot of love for her son and does not want anything to happen to him as she shouldn't. And I mean, this is a strong statement putting it out there that she would kill herself if something happened to her son. It shouldn't even be this type of situation. He should be in prison, um, able to just do his time without having these kinds of problems. Although I don't know what's going on. Obviously, these are allegations, but I do, in, in my opinion, I do feel like there probably is something going on for Kodak to be this vocal all over social media about the situation. It has been reported, though, Kodak moved out of that facility. Um, you know, not sure what that means as far as visitation and everything for his family. But from my understanding, he's no longer in Miami FDC. So hopefully, you know, this whole situation gets rectified. Crazy though, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Hit the like, subscribe, share, leave some feedback. Ring the notification bell too if you're subscribed. Appreciate you. Peace.